The RC version of iOS 16.5 has been released and it's a great update and it comes in with a few new changes so we're going to talk about all that in a few minutes here but first of all let's take a look at this update and let me show you guys why this is actually really really important and this update will actually mark the point from where iOS updates will change forever. Now, first of all, this update will come in at around 5.5 gigs, right here, the RC version 5.5 on the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Of course, this is different on different devices and different based on which software you have currently installed on your device. Now, the build number for this update is 20F65. This is very likely will be also the build number for the public release of iOS 16.5. Now, what initially started as just a smaller update with a few new features and changes actually turned out to be a really, really important update. Now, why this is a very important update and why everyone will actually be forced to update to iOS 16.5. Now, the reason for that is that according to analyst 941 on Twitter, who is our source to the new iOS 17 rumors and leaks, iOS 16.5 will be required to actually update your device to iOS 17. So whether you're a dev or you're a public beta tester, you will actually need to have iOS 16.5 on your device before you can move on and update your device to iOS 17, which is of course right around the corner. We're getting that in a few weeks now. It's actually very, very close, 25 days until WWDC 2023. Now let's go ahead and focus more on the RC version of iOS 16.5. Now, as you all know, Apple is releasing this update to the public next week, and that will most likely happen at the beginning of the week. It should be May 15th here, Monday. Usually Apple is releasing new software updates to the public on a Monday and that's probably the case at this time as well. If it's not that, then it will be the 16th, either 15th or 16th should be the date Then Apple releases iOS 16.5 to the public. So a really, really important update. If you're planning to actually update your device to iOS 17, make sure that you also update your device to iOS 16.5 now, because if you're on iOS 16.4 or lower, you won't be able to update your device to iOS 17 without first updating to iOS 16.5. So now let's talk a bit about iOS 16.5 and the cool new feature that we got. Basically this new wallpaper, which is really awesome. This is hands down the best iOS 16 wallpaper. You can see that really cool animation when swiping up from the lock screen to the home screen. Now it does have three different modes. So it will have a dark mode, which is this one right here. Then it has a light mode as well, which is pretty cool. And also when you go to the lock screen, if you have a device with an always on display, you will see that it actually has a different mode. So you can see how cool that looks. It will basically make these, make these lines right here thinner, as well as the clock right there on the lock screen. It looks pretty, pretty awesome. And that animation when unlocking is really cool. Now, besides this new wallpaper with iOS 16.5, you will get also a few other new features. Now, most of them will be right here on the news app. So we get right here, a sports tab, a dedicated sports tab, and we get another tab right here, which is basically following and search merged together. So in one spot, you will find there your following and also your search will have the sports tab right here. And of course, you will have other minor changes here as well. So if we go to, let's say, an article right here, you will have new buttons right there to suggest more and suggest less. Tapping the three dots right there will take you to the text size where you can change the text size from there. You can switch between different articles like this. You no longer have the arrows right there at the top. iOS 16.5 also makes it very easy for you to update your Apple Watch to a beta software. So you basically go to the Apple Watch app, go to software update, and you will get the same thing that you get on iOS as well. So you will get the ability to just add your account here. You can even add another account that is not your main Apple ID. And of course, from here, just select the dev beta or the public beta and update your Apple Watch to the beta program from here. Now, one thing that is not here with iOS 16.5 and it's not here with 16.5 RC, but it was with beta one is the ability to screen record using Siri. Record my screen. And as you can see, Siri says that it cannot do that, but it could with beta one. I don't know why Apple removed that feature. It was really, really good. Unfortunately, it's no longer here. 
Now, when it comes to performance, iOS 16.5 has actually been pretty good. Now, that's something you can, of course, expect from iOS 16.5 because it's a 0.5 update and Apple had time to really make iOS 16 way better. Now, these are the scores that I got here with Geekbench 6. So, the single core score comes around 2,531, while the multi core score is at 6,500. And 28. This is a really great score, and you can actually feel the device when you're using it on everyday basis. You can feel it's much smoother now, of course, with it being 0.5 again compared to the earlier releases of iOS 16. This is really great, and you will notice the performance is very, very smooth. Now, one thing I really love about iOS 16.5 is battery life. Actually, I'm pretty satisfied with the battery life I'm getting with iOS 16.5 on the iPhone 14 Pro Max here with the battery health being at 97%. So you can see what we got right here. So with around like 85% battery, we got 9 hours and 37 minutes right here, about 10 hours with maybe 10, 110% battery. But of course, this will be always different based on what you're doing during that day on your device whether you're playing maybe games or watching a lot of videos or maybe using cellular or using Wi-Fi. And right here you can see with at around 130%, we got 14 hours on the screen, which is actually quite good. Of course, not the best, but in my opinion, when you compare it to iOS 16.4, you will get a slightly better battery life with iOS 16.5, which is always great. And of course, that's why it's recommended that you always update your device to the latest iOS releases. So that's it about iOS 16.5. It is coming next week at the beginning of the next week. And I suggest you guys go ahead and update your device because it's a great update, even though it doesn't have a lot of new features and changes. And especially if you're planning to update your device in June to iOS 17 beta or in July to iOS 17 public beta, then make sure you have this update first installed, downloaded and installed on your device because you won't be able to actually update to iOS 17 without having iOS 16.5 on your device. So regarding iOS 17, it is coming on June 5th on its first dev beta. And if you want the public beta, then you will have to actually wait probably at around five to six weeks before Apple releases the first public beta of iOS 17, which is of course are very hard to download with the new changes that Apple has made. The only way will be if you have a dev account or wait for the public beta. So that's basically it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead and leave a like if you did. Don't forget to subscribe for more, and I will see you on the next one.